All right, guys, welcome back. Uh, switching gears, uh, we're going to talk about more silver. Silver can be cheaper of a uh, investment at this point. So uh, there are a lot of great deals to be had out there, specifically in foreign silver. And uh, today we're going to talk about Mexico's earlier silver during the 20th century as a uh, uh, as a commodity to buy uh, if you're running up short on uh, things like Morgan's, uh, various half dollars like Walking Liberties and Franklin's. I know a lot of outlets are selling out of the scrappy stuff, and even if they were selling, they were selling at a huge premium compared to what their respective melt values were. Uh, so let's uh, take, for example, the uh, Walking Liberty half dollar right here, 90% silver. Okay. Um, you know, it is what it is. Uh, we're, we're all used to what this coin is and what it represents in the marketplace. Um, they cater to bullion stackers, people who just want to get into silver as cheaply as possible, or they cater to the collector, the people that want the earlier dates, the uh, uh, very scarce dates like the 1919, for example, and the 38D. You know, so they they cater to a wide range of collectors, and uh, the base can be larger uh, today, and uh, with the price of silver. It, it's a, a lot more attractable buy today, and it's the, one of the most. It's still the most attractive coin out there, in my estimation. So that's what the um, Walking Liberty half dollar is like. So, what's a suitable um, uh, type of coin in Mexico's earlier 20th century series? Well, let me show you, and that would be something like the. Um, this is probably more reminiscent of a quarter, but this is a 50 centavos. All right, that's what that one looks like. The earlier dates, of course, anywhere were from like 1920, 22, all the way up into the 40s. Uh, there was really no splashy dates where you're going to encounter some stoppers, you know, nothing low mintage really. The higher grade pieces, of course, sell for more. Okay, that's what that one looks like. And uh, comparatively, it's bigger than the quarter, but yet smaller than the half dollar from the U.S. Uh, these are 0 0.72 fine silver. So that's what that's the whole allure of making them a little bit cheaper of an alternative for you. Okay, let me show you a little bit lower grade example here. Okay, that's what that one looks like with no luster. It looks like it might have been cleaned at one point. I have a number of examples of these. I have a very diverse physical portfolio of um, foreign silver. I have some foreign gold that I'm also going to share with you later. Okay. These typically, let's let's take eBay for example. These will sell um, very reasonably in the four to five dollar region per piece, and it's for a scrappy silver bullion piece, of course. So if you're looking to add to your portfolio, this is a uh, great, great medium here. Okay. All right, so we're going to upgrade into something that's more along the lines of the size of the half dollar, and that's the un peso. This is the newer version of the un peso, and I'll show you a little bit earlier uh, example that's as big as a Morgan dollar. Again, same date range. Uh, upper teens into the 40s is where you're going to find this design. Okay, that's what the front looks like. A lot of you are already familiar with the look of Mexico's earlier coinage with the, the cap and the rays and the half wreath and everything like that. And then you got the, uh, the eagle from the coat of arms on the reverse. Okay, these are very attractive coins. If you find the br brilliant uncirculated pieces and you're able to score those for melt, uh, you just hit a home run. There's a wide collector base for these. Uh, these are still 0 0.72 fine, and they go for anywhere from ten fifty to eleven dollars a piece. Um, they sell for just a hair over the premium value because of what they are. They're a little bit more popular coin. Okay, here's a few more examples. Okay, this one has more 
radial luster in it. Um, so that's what a nicer example would look like. Some of them would have mirror fields in them. Okay, there's another one. So the date on that one's 1927, by the way. And there was a 1920. It's a nice way to nice way to add to your portfolio. And let's talk about the bigger un peso that existed uh, in the earlier teens. Okay, so here's your Morgan dollar, your standard Morgan dollar size. Here is the um, larger un peso for comparison. Let's see how successful I can get uh, get this side by side here. Okay, that's what that looks like. I put them one on top of the other. The uh, Mexico coin is just slightly bigger, but it looks thinner as well. So we're still talking 0.72. If you find a cull version of these, they, they sell uh, right around the $20 range. Very attractive design that was used on this coin. Okay, you guys are familiar with the re reverse on there. Yeah. Uh, the collector grade versions of this coin will, will go $50 and up. Like this particular example right here, this is not a scrappy piece because it's it's uh, like AU. That's an AU grade right there. It's got lots of luster. Uh, this one's a 1913. There are some stopper dates in this that go into the hundreds of dollars the earlier you go. Uh, so that's Mexico coinage. Before we go, let me show you a couple more of these larger un pesos. This one, a little bit more worn. I think it's been cleaned at one point. It's got a little bit of black, tarry, gummy stuff right there. All right, so if you guys are looking through uh, little scrap trays and bins. Okay, here's a really nice example right here. This is a 1910. And see the, the luster just beaming right off of it. So I'm trying the back, the black backdrop. And I'm trying to get the lighting just right so you can see the, the luster real nice on these. Okay, and I have another example right here. You know, looks like it's been cleaned. So that's the um, Mexico earlier coinage, the bigger coins, the silver. Uh, if you guys have any questions, comments, please feel free to comment in the uh, section below. Um, and uh, thanks again for watching. I'll talk to you guys soon. All right.